Also, the question as we look into 2024 of the Senate map, which is going to be a tough map for Democrats, not necessarily favorable. Several incumbents in red states are up for re-election. That means Democrats in swing states face particularly important campaigns, including in Nevada ahead of next year's election. Nevada Democrats over the weekend ousted a slate of Democratic socialists who took over the state party two years ago, ending a troubled run marked by divisions and infighting. Joining us now is Nevada's Democratic senator facing re-election in 2024, Jackie Rosen. Senator, thanks for your time this morning. I uh, want to talk about your race ahead in just a moment, but explain for our viewers who may not fully understand the background of what happened over the weekend with the Democratic Party in Nevada. How significant was that? Well, thank you for having me on this morning. And I want to tell you it was a historic win because now Chairwoman Danielle Monroe Moreno is the first black woman to be chair of Nevada Dems. And with her unity slate, I believe we're going to bring everyone together. She won, and the whole slate won, an overwhelming victory to bring the focus back to Nevada, back to Nevada Democrats, how we're investing in our state, how we're delivering for our constituents, for our businesses, for our veterans, and for our seniors. And we need to move forward. Nevada is a battleground state. It is purple. If you recall, Senator Catherine Cortez Masto won only by about 8,000 votes. So it is very competitive. I'm going to have a tough race. And with this new slate of unity, uh, this new unity slate chaired by uh, Chairwoman Danielle Monroe Moreno, we will uh, have victory, I believe. And obviously nothing in the state of Nevada and politics come easy. It's not blue. It's not red. It, it's purple. And you know that better than anybody. Uh, Republicans certainly have circled your seat as a potential flip that they could make. What will this race come down to as you look ahead now to the next year and a half of campaigning? Well, first of all, it's about organizing. We know that Nevada, of course, we have a lot of uh, Democrats, but we are a purple state. We are a pragmatic state. It's going to be a competitive race. And my job and the job of Nevada Democrats is going to be being sure that everyone in Nevada understands how we've been investing in Nevada with historic legislation, our bipartisan infrastructure law, historic investments in Nevada, investing for our veterans with the PACT Act, investing in our seniors for $35 insulin, investing in fighting those wildfires and combating uh, drought. So we need to be sure we get the message out, that we're coordinated and we're organized. And I believe with that, we will uh, again deliver the Senate majority in 2024. Senator Rosen, it's Jen Psaki. I yeah. wanted to ask you yeah. about non-college educated voters, because people often forget, not you, of course, that there's a huge population of non-college educated voters in Nevada. With all these accomplishments, what do you think is the message that is going to resonate uh, with these voters as you look to the next two years? Well, I can tell you that I'm chairwoman of the Tourism, Trade and Export Promotion Subcommittee. Tourism, top of our ec top economic driver in Nevada. And so, of course, during the pandemic, we were hit worse than most states. We've been coming back. And so my message is to everyone and our culinary union, 64,000 strong, our union labor strong in Nevada, is that we've been fighting for them. We've been bringing back uh, tourism. We're bringing uh, jobs back because we have huge investments north and south, northern and southern Nevada, all across the state in infrastructure and in battery recycling and high tech. And uh, we're just going to continue to get that message out. And I think that's what's really important. We're a pragmatic state. People want to see someone who keeps their head down, who understands how to solve problems. That's what I've been doing, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. I suspect we'll be talking to you much more over the next year and a half as this race unfolds. Democratic Senator Jackie Rosen of Nevada. Senator, thanks so Thank much you. for your time this morning. Thank you. Wall Street is looking ahead to a week filled with